In this video, we are going to look at Elastic Beanstalk. First, we'll see how to create an Elastic Beanstalk and then you'll come to know what exactly an Elastic Beanstalk does. So I am inside my AWS Management Console and I will search for Elastic Beanstalk. So it will take me to the Beanstalk homepage. And then I'm going to click on create new application. We'll give application a name and let's say it is online banking. And then click on create. So now it has created an application for us. So in Beanstalk, each application has multiple environments or maybe one environment like QA production. So now we are going to create an environment for our application. Let's select web server environment because we're going to create a Node.js application. Now we'll give the environment a name. So I'm going to name it as online banking dash QA domain name. We'll give it a domain name and then we'll click on check availability to see if this domain name is available. And the entire domain name would be the name you provide and it will be appended with usd1.elasticbeanstock.com. Description and then in the platform we are going to choose node.js you can select whichever platform you want to and there are different options available from the list or you can even customize your platform but right now we are going to choose node.js and i'm going to upload a sample code or you can just click on sample application if you are trying out beanstalk and it will upload its own sample application and in our case we're going to choose upload code i'm going to click upload and locally i have so locally i have the source code with me that i'm going to upload it's a zip file uh, which contains all the node.js files and that is also available on this link if you just google getting started with node.js on elastic beanstalk you can download the node.js.zip from this link and then you can test out your beanstalk with this source code i'm going to click on upload and then i'm going to click on create environment so now it is going to create your environment. It is going to create uh, in EC2 instances. It is going to create security groups. Uh, in this case, we have not selected any auto scaling group. It will be a single instance, but it will create a load balancers or a scaling group if you have opted for an option. And we'll see later how we can choose auto scaling group or put your instance behind a load balancer and how to customize your beanstalk and all that so so we will wait over here for a little bit while elastic beanstalk is creating our environment so after a while your environment will be completed and you will see the screen and it will be green and we can see over here the event section like what happened while provisioning the environment new ec2 instances were added now let's click on this link and we can see that the application is visible now so let's go to our ec2 console i'll click on running instances and over here, I can see our online banking QA environment EC2 instance has been provisioned. If we click on that, we can see that a security group has been assigned. It was created by our Elastic Beanstalk with inbound 
rules and outbound rules so now let me go back to our beanstalk uh, this is my previous environment that i was testing and once you terminate your environment it will be gray and within an hour it won't show again in this console so we are here in our online banking environment now let's use route 53 to link our beanstalk to a domain name so i'm going to copy this link i'm going to go to route 53 i'll go to hosted zones and i already have purchased a domain name via aws and it is outside of free trier so it might cost you like 12 bucks 12 dollars if you purchase a domain name through aws and once you purchase a domain name aws will create two record sets for the domain name and i'm going to delete a previous record set that i had so over here i'm going to create a record set and i'm going to not name it anything and the type would be a record and it would be an alias and the target would be our beanstalk so if you scroll down it will be our online banking beanstalk and then i'm going to click on create now if i go to my domain it will show our website so now we have linked our beanstalk to this route 53 domain so now this is our qa environment but i want to now clone this environment and make it uh, and create a production environment like i have tested this and i'm happy with it so i'm going to click on actions clone environment name it as production and this will be the url i'm going to click on check availability and then for description i'm going to say production the platform i'm going to keep the same and this is the beanstalk service role if you go to iam and check this role uh, this is the role beanstalk uses to provision instance create security groups and all those things so this is the service role that beanstalk created for us i'll click on clone so now it will clone our environment our qa environment and create a production environment so as you can see over here while it's creating an environment it will be gray and you can see the logs uh, of what's going on underneath so now our production environment has been provisioned we can click on this link to check our production environment let us go back to route 53 and change the a record to point to this domain So now next what we are going to see is how to update our existing source code so we are going to upload a new application version and see what happens now we are going to upload a new application version in our qa environment first so i'm going to go to my qa environment click upload and deploy and i'm going to browse to version v2 we have basically made a text change uh, which just says v2 in an html page just to demonstrate and the version label is node.js v2 and later on we're going to see how to use version labels um, and then we're going to click on deploy now we are deploying our v2 version to our qa environment and then we are going to test it out So it seems like the deployment has been completed and the health is okay. I'm going to click on this link to see if our change has been deployed and it has been deployed. So now I want to move this change to production. So we're going to do AB deployment or blue green deployment, whatever you want to call it. 
I'm going to go here, click on actions and click on swap environment URLs. So I'm going to swap my QA with my production environment. So now my prod environment will become QA and QA environment will become prod. So we are just swapping the URLs. So after a few seconds, the URLs will be swapped and our production will be displaying version V2. So if I go back to my website, so now it's saying V2 because we moved our QA to production. Only thing is the name labels don't say it appropriately or QA is the actual production and our prod is QA now because we swapped the URLs. But this is how you do uh, AB deployment uh, with zero downtime. Now, if you go to production and you see that there's some issue with your code, then you can again swap the URLs like just, just we saw from the actions menu. So this is how AB deployment is done or how blue green deployment is done. Now, if you want to terminate an environment, we'll click on the environment, click on actions, click on terminate environment, and it will ask you for the environment name. And once I type in the environment name, I can click on terminate and then it will terminate the environment. Basically, it will delete the EC, um, uh, st terminate the EC2 instances, delete the security groups uh, in the preferred order and all you, everything that was provisioned would be deleted. So these are some of the fundamentals of Elastic Beanstalk. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.